Hey everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome to my disappearing arm and the weekly crypto update. So today we're going to talk about Shiba, we're going to talk about BTC, we're going to talk about Ethereum going over 4000 and of course the 15 charts in 15 minutes. Now I've got glasses on because I'm really intelligent and I trade crypto, especially Shiba. So and like all the TikTokers, I'm a genius. Let's go. So let's get started. Now, obviously I could have changed, but it wouldn't be so funny. So I'm just going to have my disappearing arms throughout this. <laughs> So, and you guys can all laugh with me. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, we're going to look at Shiba because, you know, I've got my glasses on. I'm super intelligent because I trade Shiba. So it's not that I'm making fun of it or anything, but money is money and we're making lots of it in Shiba. So uh, earlier today, like obviously it listed on Huobi and uh, there's strong rumors that it's going to list on Binance. So right now we are at on, since uh, this is a Uniswap pair, the uh, USDT Tether pair on Uniswap, we're at 5,570%. It's a meme coin, does nothing, literally does nothing. So, you know, since listing on Huobi, it's gone 1,486%. It's a meme coin. Do you say it again? There's nothing. That's my dog snoring. So, you know, we get all sorts of effects because, you know, they're obviously like Shiba. So Shiba is what is known as a decentralized meme token. So uh, they call it the doggy coin killer. So obviously today and over the last few days, we've been going crazy on Shiba. Uh, now the whole new, they've got a whole new ecosystem of a sharing. You can buy it, uh, obviously on Uniswap, you can buy it now on Huobi. Um, so you can go on and you can, you know, dig, bury, fetch, do NFTs, do all of this stuff on Shiba. So we've got Shiba Art and we've got uh, Shiba Rescue. So obviously they're saying that many Shibas need to be rescued worldwide, but I think really, They've got more than enough money to rescue these Shivas at the moment with the uh, the rise in this price. So as we can see, this is the coin market cap and uh, it's just gone like, it's not even a parabolic move. It's just straight up, straight up. So this is caused basically by TikTokers. So uh, the TikTokers have decided that this is the new doggy and off we go. So it, it's been going crazy over the last little while. And um, yeah, so we've got, uh, you can buy it on Huobi, Uniswap, Gadio, KuCoin, Poloniex, and Uniswap again, which is the Leash Sheba one. So yeah, going absolutely crazy berserk right now. And, um, you know, we've got some quite high sort of volumes. 35% of the volume is on Huobi since the listing, uh, looking like it's going to be listing on Binance. There's strong rumors of that. And yeah, so is this what crypto's come to? I don't know. Crypto's come to meme coins and disappearing arms. So there we go. <laughs> BTC on the 15, oh, it's on the 45 minute chart. And we are currently in this channel. I showed you this last week. Uh, we are holding the uh, 100 MA on the uh, 45 minute here. And we could possibly drop to retest this 200 MA, which is also the channel support. So that's not an unlikely move. So if we go to the lower time frames to our 15 minute, our scalp chart, we're currently holding both MAs and that's a really good sign to move higher. 
Um, if we go to an even higher time frame here, like our four hour chart, uh, my arms are disappearing again. Uh, so if we go to the four hour chart, we see that we've got the, uh, the 200 MA here, which is on the channel support. I don't think we're gonna break down to this lower 100 MA. It's swooping up and looking very, very bullish. So we look like we're going to get a bullish cross on this again. Um, in the not too distant future. So this channel support is 56,850. This should hold. So, and then we should continue up. If we don't hold, we've got a 100 MA on this uh, region here, and we may pierce down to around the 56,000 mark. Um, unlikely, but uh, looking like, you know, that's the only additional possibility. So when we look to the two hour chart, we've got the 100 MA holding here on the channel support and then the lower 200 MA down here around the 56k mark again. So that's your possibility that you know potentially there could be a wick down to this region and then straight back up into that channel. So if we go on to our higher time frame charts, now this is our weekly chart um, and you know we've got strong sort of um, parabolic movement we've got the curl happening with BTC so we can see that it's it's staying within this channel this is the larger channel on the weekly and you know while we can retest down to these lows I think we're going to go a little bit sideways in that uh, channel that we saw in those other charts and then continue up so uh, this within this channel we can uh, it takes us right up to these regions of around the 90,000 mark so uh, we can sort of trend very slightly sideways and up, sideways and up for the not too distant future without sort of affecting the alts too much. They're going to continue running. So if we go on to the daily chart, we can see that BTC is, uh, this is the daily in the channel. So we've got the 100 MA, which is sitting around the 53,000 mark here. So um, I don't think we're going to hit it right at this point in time. I don't think that's in the pattern, but we will trend sideways for a little bit and we will test this channel probably around that $56,000 mark that we saw on that other channel. So that's a strong possibility. So um, I do have orders waiting around this region and we'll start building a longer term long in these regions um, as we head up to 90,000. So, you know, that's quite a big jump for BTC, especially in a low level margin. So if we have a look at that um, right now on, pull up our percentages, you know, so we've up to 90,000, we've got a 65% move. So um, that's a huge move in BTC, especially in a low level margin. We could be in a 10% margin, it's a 646 percent move so you know strong progress here in BTC I don't see it breaking down anytime soon so um, let's jump over to Ethereum now Ethereum's been the big winner in the market this week and uh, we can see that we've got this pitchfork that we are actively trading now this has been a beautiful trade so it's moving perfectly to the median line it comes back it touches the channel support and then it goes up to uh, the next line in the pitchfork as we go so it's moving beautifully to this range we've now hit the outer edge of this pitchfork I do expect that we'll retrace a little bit in this range to these MAs so the MAs are sitting here at about 3,906 this lower 200 MA is 3,860. So it's not outside of the realm of possibility for Ethereum to travel a little bit more sideways, have a quick dip, and then continue moving on. So um, we have got our technical pivot sitting on this red line here. And um, sorry, our technical, technical pivot was right down here. So 3,016. And we've moved uh, within a week. So we, we only hit the technical pivot on uh, this time last week when we were doing the show. And uh, we've moved $1,000 on Ethereum in the last seven days, which is massive. So if you were in a 10% margin, 
then you've made 100% profits on Ethereum in the last seven days. If you're ready to be bigger, like, margin and you just went crazy on it because you're like I love ETH and it's super bullish then you've made some crazy percentages and I know some of the guys in my uh, group have done that so I don't recommend it I'm only in a 10 times margin but that's enough for me and it's moving super strongly I'm really happy with my profits so um, yeah since we uh, have been trading this for a better month uh, we've made 88.9% profits in a 10 times margin is 889%. So that's huge. So Ethereum, the big winner of the week here um, on the show, and, you know, it's going to continue. So if we do get a pullback, we're going to only pull back to these MAs and then continue on. So if we have a look at the four hour chart, it's pretty much straight up. It just goes straight up. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit on this and we can see that we've got strong movements. So not outside the realm of possibility. Again, it comes down to that center median line and then we'll continue up. So Ethereum, I have a long-term target now of 15,000 because we did hit that technical pivot and we're just going to continue and continue and continue. So it's looking so strong. So if we have a look at the ETH BTC pair, I've shown you on the um, a couple of times on the show and um, you know, I had a target here and it's just completely smashed through it. So um, we could even be possibly going up to this next target on this third wave, so which is not unlikely. Um, so if we put some Fibonacci, so I'm gonna put some Lisanacci on, uh, for those that watch the show know that I do my Fibonacci a slightly different way. So if we put some Lisanacci on this, we can see where we're headed. Uh, yeah, so potentially we have another wave in this region. So uh, Ethereum could be headed to this point. So we've got uh, 1013 here for Ethereum. So that's uh, really, really likely. Um, we could turn around at this point here, which is 091. Um, or continue, just continue up. So um, I'm going to throw a few more lines on my Lisa Nachi and just watch what happens. So um, obviously this is an ETH BTC pair. So when you do make money, you're making BTC. So that's quite a nice pairing at the moment. Um, the MACD is showing that it's really, really scooping up. It's not looking like it's turning down anytime soon. The daily... Um, uh, RSI is very overcooked though so we may get a small pullback which is in line with what I was saying with the USD pair so um, that is kind of happening right now so with this this um, we can see that the Ethereum pair is really really overcooked on the RSI which means BTC may be about to move so which looks likely with the the 90,000 pattern that we're seeing on BTC and that 65% move so uh, be very careful while trading Ethereum because this daily chart is starting to border on overbought, which means we could potentially have a pullback. So um, yeah, but other than that, it's nice profits, keep your stop losses in place and uh, happy trading. And let's have a look now at the 15 charts in 15 minutes. Hey everyone and welcome back and this is take two because I didn't record the first one so I've got to do it all again so tonight is going to be a little bit slower um yeah so this is 15 charts in 15 minutes so our chart number one is doggy coin so doggy coin is in a strong channel and looking very likely that's going to head up to $1. So we are holding the 100 MA. We've had a strong bounce. 
we should come back and retest this channel support around the 43, maybe a little bit higher around the 40, sort of 647 mark, and then continue up. So we've got about a 100% move on doggy coin in the next little while. So competing with Shiba, I'm sure that some of that money from Shiba is going to come back into doggy coin and they're going to sort of switch around a little bit over the next little while. So our number two coin is in Acro and we've got a channel. So so we saw these channels this week um, in a lot of the charts that I put on Twitter. So RLC just did 850% from a channel just like this. So Acro is one that I recommend, you know, putting a little bit of money in, never invest anything more than you're willing to lose and just waiting and see what it does. Like, oh, look, I just made 800%. Wow. Lucky me. So, and you can have disappearing arms. Um, so Acro is my number two chart of the 15 charts in 15 minutes. Number three, we have ENQ. We've taken off already in ENQ. So we've got a, a strong bounce off the 100 MA. We should come up and uh, retest this support, this resistance, sorry. Um, before we break through, we could come out um, of this resistance and retest the buy zone. That's not unlikely on this chart right here. So um, it does have big moves when it does start moving. So it's one that you want to get into when it does have those moves. So when it looks like we're just about to finish and bottom off on this, our um, MA is sweeping up and our RSI on this 12 hour chart is sweeping up also. So number four, we've got BSV. We are correcting down to this buy zone here at the moment. So we're on a four hour chart. Let's switch it down to a two hour chart. We can see that we've got strong support of the 200 MA in this region and we should hold. Um, BSV is renowned for going sideways forever. So we can see that this chart has been in a sideways pattern for quite some time. We're getting some nice bounces here. So my upper target on BSV is 666 and uh, we should get there eventually. It's just going to take some time. So um, once we've settled, we'll go have a little bit of sideways movement before heading up to our 105% profits in BSV. So worth the wait. Uh, now we've got number five, which is OXT. So this one is a regular on the charts here because it keeps moving to perfection. Uh, we've got this cup, we've come down, we've completed this handle and we're just about to take off. So we've got a cross support in this region. We've got a buy zone here and we should break out and then continue up. So we've got a 82% move coming up in an OXT. So our next chart is number six, which is REVV. This is a gaming NFT token. So to do with the F1, Formula One cars. Now we just had the Spain, um, Grand Prix on the weekend. So we've had a nice bounce in this region. So the MACD is sweeping up. Our RSI has had a strong bounce here and we have, you know, lots of free air before we hit any resistance in this region. So we've got 262% potential move on REVV. Our next coin, number seven, is GRT. So following the Elliott Wave pattern, we're in a minor correction right now. We should head up to the channel, which is about $1.67, and then continue through. So we should head up to about $2.52 after we break that channel, and then come back down and retest. We always retest a previous resistance as a support. It's just something that all coins do. It's um, So, you know, it, it's just to see the health of the coin and how much strength and support and resistance that we have in that coin. So we want to see that, you know, there's enough buyers in this region to support that move up. So uh, that's why we do get those retests. Um, number eight, we have another one of these channels that we've seen strong movements in this week. So we've got VRA. It currently is battling with the MA. So it does have strong battles with the MAs right at this point in time. We've seen it in this region. We're currently in that region again. Not unlikely to retest the channel at this point down here. So it's about the three cent mark before taking off. So we've got a, a seven cent. So that's a 150% move at this point. So potentially we could have a 300% move up to the 10 cent range on a VRA in the not too distant future. 
So our number nine coin is Kai. So uh, we've got this resistance here. Kai is just rejecting. So this is a Vietnam coin. Um, it's a community coin and they're doing really well. Um, they've got strong support of the community within crypto and within the region that they're in. Um, and they've got government backing on this coin as well. So um, it's going to fill out this triangle a little bit more before it takes off. Now RSI is settling out um, is, is really, really neutral and our MS, um, MS, our MACD is starting to curl up. So looking really good. We've got some strong um, volume coming into this coin as well. So in the not too distant future, we should break this resistance and continue up. So our channel is uh, 17 cents and then our breakout is 20 cents. So I think we'll see a new all time high for Kai in the near, near future. So number 10, we have sand. We're just coming down. We are having the third touch to this uh, support. We've broken out of this resistance. We've retested it. So um, this will then continue up. So we've on our two, three hour chart here, we've got the RSI is coming down for one more touch of this lower region. It's bordering on oversold and then we should have a strong move upwards. So it's looking quite good. We've got two, uh, we've got a cross support in this region that we did have a strong bounce on. Not unlikely that we could move a little bit lower, but I think we're going to see some movement upwards in uh, the next few days. So on sand, so this is an NFT coin. Uh, now we've got CNS. So CNS has uh, dropped in and had quite a major correction in this uh, pattern. So we've now got the, the alt curl happening and we've broken back down and we've come back down and we're retesting these bottom regions. Now this should settle around this area. The RSI on this 12 hour chart is very, very overbought, which means that we will definitely see a bounce in this region. So um, very, very easy to do 100% on this coin. Uh, so if we have a look, we've got a 200% move in this region. So this is going to be one of those big movers if you've got the patience to hold on to it. So it's got an 800% move coming in this cup pattern. And um, so, you know, if you've got, you should never invest more than you're willing to or can afford to lose, but this, uh, you know, throw $100 in if you've got a spare $100 in and you might have $800 in, you know, a week or a month or so. So I'm not sure, saying that it's going to be a quick mover, but um, a lot of the time when these coins do start moving, they do move quite quickly. So while it could take a little bit of time for this to start moving, it's not out of the realm of possibility that it will start moving. So um, yeah, so a little bit of patience and not investing more than you're willing to lose. So uh, our next one is, so that was CNS and which was our number 11 coin. Our number 12 coin is CEL. Um, this is a Celsius token. It's again in one of these channels. So we have got a, a nice alt curl happening in this pattern here. We should come up and retest the channel, which is about the $8.22 mark. Have a slight pullback before we head higher. So if we do get that pullback to around this region, um, and then we head higher, we've got 111% profit potential in this coin. So that may take um, a month or two to happen. No, I, you know, again, I don't ever predict timing because we don't know when that's going to happen. We don't know when the money flow is going to start coming into each particular coin or token. All we can do is have a look as to what the pattern is forming and what the shape of that is and as to where it's going to go. So this is forming a nice alt curl in this in this region. We've got nice curl on both RSI and on the MACD. So the RSI will have a, a minor pullback in the, uh, you know, this is a four hour chart. So it'll probably have a, you know, a, a pullback for around about a day or so before we take off again. So uh, our next chart of the day or chart of the 15 charts in 15 minutes is Coty. So Coty has uh, formed a channel. So we're underneath a resistance in this region and we've rejected. So we had a cross resistance and we've come back down to a cross support. Um, so we found that cross support and have then continued up. 
we are now on the other side of this next cross support. So this is a good sign that this is moving strongly. So we're gonna see some consolidation in this channel as we slowly move higher. So um, we've got a 69% move on this one, on this Cotty chart, and um, then we'll see a minor correction. So it's looking really strong to complete those waves. So our next chart is number 14 is UBXTUSD. So this is up bots. So again, in one of these channels and it's moving nice and slowly sideways, we've come back down, we've retested this support region and we've had a strong bounce. So we're in this triangle, we're gonna fill this triangle out for a little bit more before we break out and head up higher. We've got an upper target here of 14.7 uh, and um, we should get a buy-in between the $8, $8, Eight, eight cents, eight and a half cents range in this region. So that's a nice almost 100% move as well. So most of these charts are showing sort of strong movement. So we've got 80%, sorry, in uh, UB or UpBots, UBXTUSD. So this is an FTX chart. Uh, so our next chart of the week is number 15. And my screen's not working on my other laptop. So let's just wing it. So this is Anchor. So it is in, again, it's in a flag sort of pattern. We do have a support region in this area. We will come down and retest this support region. So this is about the uh, $14.50 ish, $14.50. 14.5 cents mark and we will retest this and then continue up. So we should get a, a nice movement from this region up to here. So 86% move in this region, um, but a small wave down just to complete the pattern before we do head up. And that takes us to the chart of the week. Hey everyone, now this is the chart of the week. So this is BPRO, this is a DeFi gaming platform. Um, now it is basically had this massive big rise when we saw, you know, DeFi and uh, the NFT sort of space take off. So this combines both. So, um, you know, it's it's got some epic moves coming up. It's got, it's a really, really cool project. So I recommend checking it out. Um, and, you know, they've got really cool stuff happening on the pl platform. You can stake and you can use your uh, BPRO on there. So uh, we've come down, this is a daily chart. So we're still sort of correcting and moving in this sideways movement and we should start heading up shortly. So um, we're on the long-term support at the moment um, and we have a potential 300% move. Uh, I don't know if we're still gonna move a little bit sideways for a little bit longer, but uh, this is one to sort of watch and to sort of, you know, have in your bags because it's a really good mover when it does move. And um, yeah, so one that I'm really like going to be hodling onto because they've got some really amazing things happening on their platform. So make sure you check it out. This is BPRO and it's the chart of the week with 300% potential profits. Doesn't mean it's gonna move within this week, but it will move over the time, um, you know, in the next few weeks to a month um, as all the announcements start happening for BPRO and what they're doing and, you know, they've on their platform it's really cool so please check it out so thank you very much for watching guys we finally got through it my arms didn't disappear so much i finished the 15 charts in 15 minutes after recording it three times so uh thank you again for watching and i'll see you next week bye now